North Manus 26 ounce U trip Angie Purcell, 13 and a half inch barrel, full ounce of inload. Thanks to softball fans. All right, guys, so with some of the bigger details out of the way there in the intro, as far as the specs and weighting and things like that goes, uh, we can just jump straight into kind of the nitty gritty of the bat. Being a 26 ounce with a full ounce, I wasn't real sure how this was going to feel. This felt right in line with what a 26 would have been. And as far as what I expect out of a 26, it was spot on for what I expect out of this Worth and Mike and stuff. The big barrel on this was definitely super forgiving as far as like sweet spot and stuff like that goes. Feedback was weird. I don't know any other way to put it, but every ball felt the same, whether it was a 52 or a 44 or a BP rocket. I mean, this was shot a while back. I can't remember the exact day, but I do know it was fairly cool outside. And even hitting a harder ball in these colder temps, like it felt just the same as hitting a 52. Everything felt the same off of the bat. Performance wise, the ball came off great, but it was just hard to get a good read on. Uh, what was good and what was bad as far as feedback goes and like I said <laughs> hitting a 52 and a 44 you couldn't really tell the difference off the bat but no doubt they were jumping off of this thing feedback may vary <laughs> I'll say that still has a composite handle uh, that we're used to from a lot of this worth and mic and stuff now that I'm done rambling about this let's head over to the labs check out the compression tester and the scale and then I'll come back and uh, kind of give you some good and bad to let you make your decision on whether you want to swing this thing or not. All right, so off the jump with the compression tester here, this thing is new in the wrapper, coming in right at the 259, 260 mark, pretty run of the mill. Now, one thing I will say that did surprise me moving on to uh, what this bat was like after we put about 75 ish swings on it. Brian put about 30 on it before I started my round and I put around 50 on it and with these cooler temps, I was surprised to see that it wasn't just testing right down around 200 or so, because that's kind of what I expected out of this. But like I said, I was surprised to see it not failing. So I guess that is a good thing. And moving on to the scale here, this 26 came in at 25.9. Again, with scale weights not really being relevant to me, I'm doing this for you guys because, oh my gosh, it's a 26 sticker, but it's a 25.9. Like, it felt like a 26 ounce bat. Felt right in line with what it should have been. Let's head back to the field here and close this one out now that we've got all this finished up. So let's talk about some good and some bad, uh, kind of wrapping thoughts up with this one. Performance wise, I thought this bat did great. It hit everything, we threw at it well, and the weighting was really good with this. Like I said, being a 26, I wouldn't expect a whole lot out of it, but I thought that the bat felt pretty good. I could expect it to feel good in a 27 and a 28 as well, just judging off of how smooth this one felt. And one more upside to this could potentially be the fact that it might want to hold a little bit of compression more than uh, some of these U-Trip bats have. Don't take that one to the bank, but like I said in the lab section of this, I was surprised to see that uh, it wasn't just miserably failing compression after what we put it through on this day of BP. So maybe something to that there, may not, but I did want to mention it since I did find that in doing this stuff. Now for the bad, and this is a big sticking point for me and I'm gonna kind of elaborate why. Now this bat just did not feel good feedback wise. Just everything felt the same, whether you hit it on the screws, whether it was a hard ball, whether it was a 52, didn't seem to matter. Literally everything felt the same. Like nothing ever burned your hands or anything like that. The sweet spot itself and the, like the forgiveness of the bat was great. But to me, I at least need some kind of feedback to let me know how I'm hitting the ball. And you just couldn't get anything out of it as far as good or bad or anything else. Yes, you can see the ball come off the bat and, and base it on that. But uh, to me, a certain part of feeling confident with something is the fact that you know you got it well. You know, you hit, you hit that ball and you say, oh man, the second it comes off the bat. Didn't have very many of those with this thing. Yes, it hits the crap out of the ball. Yes, there's all kinds of good things about it, but there are so many good U-Trip bats on the market today. Unless you just absolutely have to have this thing, I wouldn't suggest it because you're gonna find something that can perform just as well and fit the needs that you want out of a bat. And just one little tidbit for random info, uh, for those that do kind of keep up with some of this stuff, Andy Purcell is no longer uh, with Worth. So this will be the last of the Purcell models coming from Worth. He's with Louisville now, and I don't know if uh, they're planning on doing a player slash signature model for him or not. We will see, but you won't be seeing any more of these Worth products with his name on them.
be posting a couple more videos this week, so be sure and stay tuned for those. Hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you get a notification when I post them. Comment wherever you see this posted, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys.